All right, Saturday, March 23rd. Here we are, and uh, man, last week was uh, crazy. Crazy busy with piping. Uh, it was very, uh, it was a long weekend. Done with that, and we did come up on Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday this week. Did a little bit of work, so we'll uh, show that right now. Hey, it's um, Wednesday, the twentieth yes. of March, and uh, we're up here to do a little bit of work. We, uh, I think in the last video I said that we had finished all the rigging. We actually didn't. We need still need to rig the flaps. Uh, we got to finish that up and uh, need to safety the turnbuckles that are uh, down there for the aileron cables. We'll, uh, we need to safety that and uh, we'll see how far we get uh, on those two items and um, yeah, see what happens. We're working on this rigging for the flaps and I haven't shown uh, what we're doing quite yet. Uh, I wanted to make sure we're getting this right before I kind of did any video stuff, but uh, we did do this side and um, ended up, so this, these uh, rod ends are supposed to be on a minimum of 10 turns. And so I put it in 10 and we checked the flap with the flaps up and it was a little bit high so I actually had to turn in, uh, I went in three turns on that rod end there, and that uh, matched it right up with the trailing edge of the aileron, so that one's good. And now we're gonna, uh, we're starting to work on this one, and I actually did check this already, um, and we were in right at 10 turns, but I think we need to do a little bit of adjustment on the push-pull tube uh, out on the, uh, on the flap. Okay, we've got our, we got the push-pull tube uh, adjusted. I turned, or pulled that push-pull tube, I adjusted it all the way in on there. And we're pretty close to even with the aileron right now, but there's still some slop in this flap. And I had emailed Rands about this, uh, about, about this play that's in here. And uh, Tony said, that they actually bring this rod end in, or actually out, they bring this rod end out just a little bit, he said, so that it's almost, and I can't quite get it there, but it's, he said, so it's just, just about to touch on there, and then he said that takes that play out of there. So I'm gonna give that a try and see, uh, see what we get here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I think we got this flap rig now, and uh, so we did, you saw we adjusted that um, Teleflex cable on the bell crank uh, up inside. We got that adjusted right, which when we did, it brought, was it high or was it low? Now I can't remember. We had, they were really high, weren't they? Yeah, so when we got that adjusted and we put the flaps up, it was, it was way above that aileron over there. So we went, uh, I pulled the, we unscrewed the push-pull tube all the way out, and I went in 12 turns on that end. And this end is, this rod end is, is all the way in, and then I backed it out by, I think, two turns. Uh, so now, it was low, no, it was, <laughs> it was high or was it low? It was low, and then you pulled it. That's right. So it was low, so we put it in, and it was uh, still a little bit low, right? And then you took two turns out and it Now I went two turns in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So now, go ahead and put the flaps up. So we've got that there, and we're even with the aileron there, and we've got just a little bit of little bit of play in there is all I mean before it was it was probably moving about that much just chunk 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 so we've got that got that taken care of there now what you don't like my sound effects <laughs> so got that done so we'll uh, reattach this uh, or put the put the nut on that when we got the bolt uh, through there we'll put the nut back on and then we need to uh, tighten the jam nuts uh, on the push pull. Okay, we're done here tonight. And uh, all we got done tonight was just this rigging on both of these flaps, but uh, we're pretty happy with how those came out. Uh, the only thing we have left to do on that, uh, everything jam nuts are done there. The only thing left is we do have to make a special tool. And uh, I've seen it on the RANS site. Uh, you have to take a 3 8 inch wrench and you have to, you have to bend it so it comes over the top. So it comes over the top so you can grab that. Uh, can't see it. So you can grab the top of that nut. There's a jam nut up there for that push-pull tube. So we got to make that wrench. We'll probably do that this weekend. Make that wrench. We'll get that jam nut tightened down and get that torque seal mark on there so we know that that's been uh, finalized. But uh, yeah, happy with how these, how these flaps rigged up. Um, and uh, like I said, we didn't get to the ailerons. Looks like we do need to do just a very slight adjustment on the ailerons. They have a tiny little bit I mean a tiny little bit uh, that they need to come down both ailerons just got to come down just a little bit so we'll work on that this weekend and what was the other thing I talked about I don't remember now it was ailerons flaps and something else but uh, we didn't get to it and uh, look what we got We've got some uh, tail number for our tail. Uh, so we had a company here in town make these and um, he said, uh, I actually know him from way back when I used to work for another airline, but uh, he has a sign company now and he said he's got a template that he's got these all uh, worked up in and with the right uh, ratios and spaces and all that stuff. So he made those up for me and uh, we'll probably maybe get those on this weekend. I don't know, we'll see. All right, back to whatever day it is. And here we are Thursday, the 21st of March, and this will be a short one uh, like it was last night. Um, we do need to do, we need to adjust the rigging just a little tiny bit uh, on the ailerons. They were, they're just like, I don't know, 16th of an inch, eighth of an inch high maybe. So we're gonna adjust that down a little bit 
Um, so it should be pretty short, but um, unless there's something else we decide to do. All right, we're done for now. We did get uh, these ailerons re-adjusted uh, a little bit just so that the so that they're lined up on there. We just had to drop them by, like I said, it was about maybe less than an eighth of an inch, but got those adjusted and ended up with a question. We uh, let's see, we got the flaps rigged. Uh, I guess we did that before. We did that last night, but ended up with a question for Rands on the uh, the measurement for that so I got to reach out to them and uh, ask a question so we'll see what happens with that and we got the turnbuckles done uh, safety wired for the aileron cables so we did that up on the center here and then also down there on both sides and that one behind that tank there was uh, was fun but we got it done And today we're going to, uh, we do need to finish up um, the flaps and aileron rigging. Uh, actually just some very, very minor adjustments. We've got the stop, um, the left and right aileron stop bolts to do. And we did those previously, but then when we did the final rigging on the flaps, we did find the ailerons were just a little bit, a little bit out. Uh, they were a tiny bit high. We had to drop them down a bit so that changed a few things and so now we need to recheck and readjust uh, a little bit on the stop uh, bolts that are on the control stick. So we'll check that out. Um, I had some questions for Rands when we rigged these, when we got these finally rigged and we did the fold down deflection on it, uh, we were coming up with 40 two and a half to 43 degrees of deflection which was just was that outside the spec or was it right just in, it was outside the spec that's in the book um, so I asked Rands about that sent an email over to them and the reply was that that is okay uh, they he's uh, Tony said that they see typically about 42 and a half degrees uh, full down on the flaps and that's that's with the load on it with them pushed up against the slack on the cable if you just let them hang and you go full flaps uh, you'll get 45 degrees is what we had but so they say that's okay and um, as far as the ailerons go uh, I had a question about uh, the right aileron has less deflection than the left aileron, both in the up and the down positions. Uh, so I asked them about that and they said, yep, that's normal. Uh, and just as long as they're within spec, um, that's fine. So we're going to double check some of that stuff and get that worked out today. Uh, other things to look at, start looking at this fairing here for the back, uh, the horizontal. Take a peek at that, see what we're going to need to do there. And anything else? Possible closeouts. Yeah. Well, see what kind of trouble we can get into if we get if we can get past this point here. All right. Here we go. All right. Working on this jam nut for the flap, and uh, there is uh, on the Rand's website they've got a uh, picture of a three eighths inch um, wrench that they take and they bend. They put a right angle in it, and so you can reach up there and do that, um, I was just about to do that when I realized that um, I have a crow foot on a quarter inch drive 
with an adapter uh, that basically does the same thing. So we already did the other side and gonna see if that works out for this side here. Uh, and just a note on this Teleflex cable here, you can see that it's just contacting that, that rod end for the flap push-pull tube. And uh, that was, uh, that came from RANS. Um, I had an email asking about this and they said that's how they rig them uh, at the factory it's to, to the point where it's just touching on there. Okay, yeah, this, uh, this small socket with, uh, I've got an adapter on there to a 3 8 inch drive and then I've got these good old crow foot uh, ratchets from uh, Harbor Freight and uh, that fit right on there. Worked perfect for uh, tightening down that jam nut uh, on that flat push pull tube. So uh, yep, we recommend uh, using that. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. We'll, uh, we'll put some thread locker on there and uh, we'll put a uh, torque seal on it to mark that, that that's uh, torqued down. Okay, uh, okay, so yeah, um, got those tightened down on both sides and I did make sure that uh, when we did tighten that jam nut that we're not, we didn't bind up, uh, it didn't bind up these rod ends at all or that push-pull tube, so that's uh, looking pretty good there. All right, we're getting prepped for this uh, fairing that goes on here. We're going to start fitting that up. And um, in prep for that, we did make sure that this was all set. And um, this actually got set when we put the horizontal on. Uh, the spec in the book is you take the spacers, you set them spacers one eighth inch above the bottom of the of this um, ah this adjust incident adjustment uh, piece and um, adjust that with the bottom. Uh, you can't really see it. There's a screw cap screw down in there. Hex cap screw. There's uh, one down there. You adjust that up to one eighth, and then uh, it just so happens that. These two screws, when this is set to 1 8 those two screws screw all the way down. Uh, and I, I verify that they are tight. I mean, it gets to within probably a couple threads or maybe one thread and then it starts to uh, contact and it gets tight. So we got that all tightened down, verified that, uh, Loctite of these two and also Loctite the bottom uh, cap screw down there. So those are ready to go. We'll get started on this and wanted to say uh, Derek Kenny uh, has an excellent video on uh, making the, f getting the fairing fit up here. So if you want to see more information on that, a real good explanation, head over to his channel and that is uh, right here. Uh, so thanks Derek for putting that video together, that's uh, good information.
Well, it's a little bit cold today, uh, and man, we got, you can't see it on this view, the clouds are just really, really low, and we are supposed to get four to six inches of snow tonight and tomorrow, so we'll see what happens, and uh, yeah, spring, winter, spring, winter, spring. Okay, we're done for today, and I did not, you saw it in the previous video, but this is what I used to do the edge or the, the uh, bend that leading edge of that fairing on there and this is some bushing stock that we actually had to buy uh, when I was doing the when, uh, the landing gear was getting mounted we I messed up drilling the bushing for the landing gear so I had to buy some more of this stock I think I got it from aircraft spruce but turned out to be this exact size for this uh, this leading edge here to make that bend. So that's what I used for that. And uh, we've got this cleat coat on here right now. We did apply the rubber trim around that so that we'd get the holes fit up right. And uh, a couple notes here, we're not, like Derek uh, did on his, we're not drilling this one out. There's a, there's actually a rivet under here, one of these rivets. The newer kits, uh, they do a flush rivet over this. Uh, in this kit, this is an older kit, and uh, we had a regular protruding head rivet here. So what we'll end up doing is we'll radius this corner, kind of like how Derek did. So that'll, that'll give it a nice radius on there, and it'll eliminate that, uh, having that rivet underneath there. And there goes the alarm. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, got that part done. We've got this cleat coat on. Uh, everything worked out good. I didn't actually have to really do much trimming. I did have to file a little bit on this bottom side here, right where, it, right in this spot right here, I had to file that so that this would lay lay down and get inside of, uh, I got it, so it was just inside of this rivet right there. And there is a little tiny bit of a gap right on that leading edge. I just couldn't get that quite worked out of there, but I'd, it's just a it's just, it's just a fairing that goes on this, so I'm not super concerned about it. The other side came out pretty nice. What else are we gonna do? Oh, we need to. Uh, we're gonna trim that side off right there. Uh, we're just gonna cut that, and we did. Maybe got a little over. Uh, I went a little crazy on the cut here, so I did end up with a gap uh, on this. I might. We'll figure something out. I might seal that up um, somehow. I haven't quite thought about it yet, but so what, what happened was is we put this on and measured it and I it was overlapping so I cut that off and then once we got this trim on it actually bumped it out a little bit I didn't think about that and uh, so it bumped it on both sides which gave us this gap in here so I'll I'll come up with something we'll figure it out but anyway uh, what else we did uh, I talked about the ailerons so we got those rigged and final uh, final rigged so we're happy with that and flaps are good so yeah um, that's about all I can think of so hey, everybody hey thanks for watching uh, and uh, comments and questions have a good evening and that's it for now